Do you ever worry about missing out? Do you ever worry that you should be doing something and you're not? The seasons are always changing around us and I think that's really, really cool. How's it going guys? My name's Andy from Urban Herbs. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about seasonal change. The seasons are always changing around us and I think that's really, really cool. When you're growing things, do you ever worry about missing out? Do you ever worry that you should be doing something and you're not? I think that's a really, really big fear for gardeners, the fear of missing out. There's a really strong idea, isn't there? That if you miss the window to do something, then that window's gone and it won't be back for a whole other year. How scary is that, right? I always used to think that doing this job, I only ever get one shot at doing the 1st of May, the 2nd of May, etc. Each year, you only get one chance to do spring. You only get one chance to get summer right. If you don't get it right, that's okay, because we're always learning, and it's all about learning. Just to add another layer to this, no two seasons are ever the same. Here in the UK, we're in the middle of high summer. It's one of my favorite times of year. It's really, really warm. The government today have actually declared a national emergency because of the heat. I'm sitting here in the shade. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning and it's absolutely lovely. I think it will get really warm later. In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about what you should be doing right now in the summer herb garden. The summer herb garden is a really exciting place. Everything is growing so quickly. I can literally feel the energy of these plants around me. Plants that aren't in bloom on Monday might be in full flower by Wednesday. Plants that look lovely and compact at the beginning of the week might be leggy by the end of the week. Things are growing so quickly. So I wanted to do this really quick video as a bit of a, an update to provide a bit of guidance about what you should be doing in the summer herb garden. Number one, and probably most importantly, you're gonna be doing a lot of watering, seriously. Herbs, if you're growing in containers, they're gonna be really reliant during hot weather on the water that you give them. You really do need to put in place a watering schedule. Now, if you've got automatic irrigation, automatic sprinklers, basically, like we do here, that's good. I mean, we have the sprinklers set so they go off at a certain time when there's less demand on the water pressure and that just gets them off to a good start to the day. You can water in the morning or the evening, basically when the heat is less, because if you water when the plants are hot, you risk scorching the leaves, but also the water evaporates very quickly from the plants as you water them. I personally prefer to water in the early morning. It's really lovely to just walk around with a podcast in my ears and chill out a little bit before the day starts, making sure that all these little babies are looked after. I feel like I'm the custodian of these plants. I'm only looking after them for a short period of time and I feel quite responsible for them before I send them to you. So, number one, water. It's really important for me to say that summer in the herb garden is much, much more than just watering your plants. It's not a season for just pure maintenance. Although there is quite a lot of maintenance to do. What do I mean by that? Well, your herbs are gonna be growing nice and quickly. So actually, you can cut them back and use them, add them to the delicious summer drinks. Mint is growing so quickly at this time of year that you'll be able to harvest so much of it. And I think that is really, really cool. Keep cutting back your herb plants. That's really important. Herbs make great options for hanging baskets. And if the herbs are in hanging baskets, then just make sure they're watered. As summer gets into full flow, you're going to find that some plants will finagle under the heat, especially during a heat wave like this. Especially your summer bedding plants, your ornamental bedding, might not look so good after a few days of hot weather, maybe you forgot to water them. We all do that sometimes, there's nothing wrong about that. So as the summer season progresses, you might want to top up and replace your herb garden with some new varieties. Now, you can bring in these replacements specifically for the summer season, but you can also look forwards to what is coming next. That's what I love about growing things. It's really, really cool to plan ahead, to look ahead, to dream. And even though I'm recording this on the hottest day of the year so far, I'm already planning ahead towards my autumnal herb garden because autumn is the time of year when we embrace those cold weather comfort foods 
those foodie flavors that I love so much that I probably eat too much of. Now is the time to plant herbs, get them established, ready for that autumnal season. So in a few days, as the temperatures begin to cool, I'm gonna walk around my summer herb garden and have a look at what's done well, have a look at what hasn't. If ornamental bedding plants in hanging baskets need replacing, then actually herbs make a really, really good option or an alternative in a few weeks time to the winter bedding. It's really cool actually to put trailing rosemary or creeping red thyme into a hanging basket to replace maybe some petunias that are flagging a bit. So another key job in the summer herb garden is replacing, replenishing, recharging after a period of assessment. The last really important job that you're gonna to need to do in the summer herb garden is a really, really important one. This is the most important. You need to remember to find time to enjoy the summer herb garden, to appreciate it for what it is, to appreciate the beautiful space that you've created and take a few moments to chill out and enjoy it. This is something that all too often I forget to do and I'm gonna really urge you to do so in this video. Grab yourself a mint tea, sit back, enjoy this most wonderful time of year because it will not be here forever. Before we know it, we'll be complaining about the cold again and the herb garden will move into the next phase of growth. So this evening as the temperature's cool, I'm gonna be sitting in my own little herb garden with a cup of mint tea, enjoying the simmering heat of the evening. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, giving you some ideas of what to do in the summer herb garden. Until next time guys, thank you so much for watching. See you later.